Welcome back, my computer duders. To you, it feels like it's been a long time. But to me, I'm recording these episodes back to back, pretty much picking up exactly where I left off on the last one, because that's all I have to do with my time and with my life. Or do I have to get a better score? What is that shit? I may as well do this tutorial. That should have been episode one. I know basically what to do now. You can really play this only with your wrist. Which is true of a lot of porn games, too. hey -o! Mature jokes for mature gamers like us. <laughs> Remember when mature meant that a game had boobs in it? When in fact, like, having your main character run around... I'm going to sound like Anita Sarkeesian, but that's not what maturity means to me. I remember when, it, when I was like 17 and seeing in PlayStation Magazine, there was going to be a game called Valkyrie, Valkyrie Wild with a nude main character, and even then I felt patronized. Like, uncomfortably pandered to. Like, you really you think this is all there is to me as a person? Is that I want video games with boobs in it? How did you know? No, go there. Go there. This isn't really a tutorial, is it? I wouldn't... There's volcanoes in every map. Is, does this game take place in fucking Iceland? Or the Minecraft version of Iceland? Because look at the trees. And look at the ground texture. This is Minecraft Iceland. Hmm. Can I just... Can I seriously just go over here and fuck their shit? It seems like I can. It seems like there will be no down downside to that. They're going back to like a sub room temperature IQ now, so I got into where they were intelligent enough to be a problem, but they no longer are. Well, that didn't go how I wanted it to. Few things ever do. Oh, cool. Something I did caused fucking electrical, like, anomalies. Like, the stalker type anomalies. So there's fucking mutants and shit there now, I guess. Apparently. Who am I to question it? This is virtual reality. Anything can happen. Oh, no. I fucking misaligned them. Well, fuck. You know, you have to go to the fucking monster graveyard. Can I come at it this way? I can, can't I? What reason is there not to? What could possibly go wrong? No! That. <coughs> oh, there's a new Bubsy game. Why? Why, God? Why? Seriously, though. Like, whoever did that has to be... Not, like, even ironic Satanists, but sinc sincere fucking Satanists who just hate all life and wish to help extinguish it. It doesn't even do anything new. It's literally just a Bubsy game in 3D graphics. And it's still just a side-scroller. It's exactly like the fucking... Uh, Sega Genesis game. Like, they must have been so cocksure. They must have been like, everybody's making so much money with fucking mascot games. All we have to do is make any mascot game and we'll be rolling in, in fucking coke. In no time. It's gonna be hilarious. He's gonna be a bobcat because that's a valid animal. And he's gonna say, what could possibly go wrong? 
Because that's funny. That resonates with the youth of today. Although it was the 1990s, so maybe they weren't totally wrong. That guy's just mesmerized by the lava. He's looking in there and thinking, I'm so close to death. What is my life? What is what is mortality? What are, are, are we really put on this earth only to fight each other? And the answer, of course, is yes. That's the end of that philosophical train of exploration. Let me protect my base a little bit better here. This feels like graduating college and then going back in, to kindergarten. And just whooping the shit out of all the other kindergartners. And it feels so good! So good and so right and, and chocolatey and, and rich. I'm not above that. I'm not above wailing on noobs to improve my self-esteem. That's one of the small, simple pleasures of life. Yeah, it feels so good. Feels so good and right and silky and sensual. Okay, wait, what? What were we talking about? Okay, wait, this is gonna be a problem. That turret could actually fuck us all up. Okay, there we go. I'm right outside your front door. This ain't a protest, bitch. We got guns. These are not signs. Why don't you come out here? Why don't you come out here and fight like a man? Although apparently the way men fight these days is to create entire subreddits around how, how women don't want them and to, and to blame it all on the women. So maybe fight like a man is not the inspiring term that it once was. This is much too small. I guess it's suitable. Man means so little t these days. It makes me wonder if it ever meant anything. Map locked. I have to do better. By now? What do you the fuck do you mean by now? That unlocks a lot of fucking maps, though. I can't do this without showing you my fucking code, though. Can I get there just by doing better? If this is a fucking pre freemium game, all bets are off. You're gonna hear the loudest, shrillest read that you've ever heard. All windows in a one mile radius will shatter. You don't want that, do you? Don't be a madman. Hopefully you'll see me fight somewhat more competently this this time around. Now that I understand helicopters are a thing. <coughs> Fly faster. What are those those are are those duocopters? But heli doesn't mean single. Helicopters are not called unicopters. Maybe they should be. I'm going to file that away in my good ideas document. Stash these back here. Because they're so very precious to me. Ah, there we go. They won't think to look here, because it's like 20 feet away from where they would normally look. Which makes it impossible for them to notice. Is that good? That looks good to me. That looks like adequate defense. I'm going to put a little bit more. A good mixture of ground turrets and air turrets. Man, if they can get through this, they deserve to fuck my ass, which is, I assume, why, why they're coming after me. Why else? What other pos reason could there possibly be? Down here? No, it won't let me. Because it's past my bedtime. 
Uh, let's see. Whatever. What the fuck ever. Fucking fit there. Do what I tell you. I don't think you understand what a military is. Oh, this can be upgraded? Oh, shit can be upgraded. Upgrade all the things. Another fresh meme. Just came out yesterday. Can I make- I can make a tech center, right? That's how I beat it last time, I just fucking out teched them. Oh, that's gonna take a while, though. I don't have time for that. Cannon turret, MG turret. I, I- I guess so. Is that really worth it, though? I feel like I'm better off with more ground units. That's really what I don't have right now. I, I don't have many things right now. Like, a reason to live. Actually, that's not true. I don't mean to shatter your image of me as a crusty, you know, chicken nugget smelling loser who's just fucking covered in a fine layer of Cheeto dust all the time, mysteriously, despite the fact there's no Cheetos visible anywhere. I met a lady, a lady friend I like very much recently, and it's giving me serious doubts about whether I can continue my solitary lifestyle. I, I'm kind of selfish like that. I don't want to make room in my life for a second person. Because of all the compromises that are necessary for that. But she's pretty fucking special. And I don't mean to sound gay or anything. But, you know. I might be, you know. I might be hot nuts for her. I don't, I mean, I don't mean to sound like some kind of romantic either. But I might be, I might be fucking gay for her face. Is that too romantic for this channel? This is a family channel. I shouldn't be saying dirty things like that. What does it mean to be gay for a woman's face? Poets and philosophers have been discussing that since time immemorial. No! No! Did I give you fucking permission? Whoa! What the fu- Oh, all the fuel depots can blow up at once! What the fuck is that? If I had known that, I never would have built them so close to anything. No! No, no, no! If I had known that, well, I guess... This game is a brutal teacher. It just lets you fuck up, and it's like, I bet you won't do that again. It's like how, how dads teach you, or at least my dad did. Maybe I'm projecting. I don't honestly know. Yeah, we'll see where this goes. I'm excited. Which is, you know, probably people are, are out there listening and slowly shaking their heads and like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is always a mistake, 100% of the time. Maybe. Maybe you just gotta give it a chance. Maybe I gotta give love a chance. And fucking be adventurous for once in my life. Or maybe I'll look back on this video in the future and be like, I should have listened to them. What was I thinking? The pessimist in me thinks so, but then again, I'm like, if I'm just going to be a pessimistic loner, why live? Why continue to live? There's got to be a reason to live, and fucking Dorito shell tacos are not enough anymore. Okay. That's a lie, Dorito shell tacos are so fucking a reason to live. They're tacos with a shell made out of the same stuff as Doritos. What has science done and how is it so beautiful? Fucking go up. Go, go, 
go, go. There you go. Then after this, I'll wait for the tech center and not build any more fucking depots anywhere near my base ever again. Except for those, which I I should really get rid of. No, you don't. In fact, no, you don't. Contrary to what you thought. Friend, what are you doing? What are you doing, friends? Really? I thought we had something. I'm going to have to drop five bucks on that map to continue doing videos in the series, and that pisses me off. They're, they have my money already. They knew it. They knew this would happen. Uh, increased production. Can I even do that any further? I don't think I can. I don't think that actually does anything. Well, I gotta go on the offensive, or they're just gonna keep on fucking shoving an entire cob of corn up my, my tender butthole. It won't be tender for long. It'll be like the texture of beef jerky if this continues. And that's what this is all about, really, is butthole texture. That's the overarching plot of this of this epic war. The butthole war. Who can rightly say what texture a man's butthole ought to be? Some think that's an unanswerable question. But it will be answered today on the battlefield. Fuck you, nuh uh. Nuh uh. Oh, I guess that's a good one to destroy because otherwise it'll fuck my ground units. That's an air unit. That can't do shit to me. There's nothing there. I can attack your life points directly. What do you think of that, Yugi? Oh, Seto Kaiba. Oh, I'm going to summon Exodia now. You can't do that. That card's forbidden. Bitch, you designed the game. Yugi sounded nothing like that. Everybody and their brothers commented on this, but it's still the funniest thing in the world to me. That that, that whole anime took place in a world where, like, a children's card game was the most important thing. You know how in Metalocalypse, like, everybody in the world is a Death Clock fan, and Death Clock, like, the whole world exists for the sake of Death Clock? Anime has invented that. Like how in Pokemon, everything everything in the world was revolved around Pokemon. I'm coming to fuck you. Hee hee hee, if I catch you, I'm gonna fuck you. The oldest game in the book. Nobody really wins that one except for the cops. Yeah, blow shit up. Wreck shit. That's good. That's some good explodage. Those anti-air turrets are really fucking effective. Holy shit. They need more air support. This is not going to work without it. Fuck, come on! Ah! If that one little tank with that amount of health left can still fucking take out the base, I'm gonna laugh. And if it comes really close but doesn't quite do it, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry like a little baby. It's good to have a cleansing cry every, every now and again. If magical yoga men can be believed. And that's where I get all my news about medicine from. 
Coincidentally, I'm dying of cancer. No, not really. You big silly! I'm not fucking Steve Jobs. Like, how, how can you be so smart but so stupid at the same time? You, you'd think, like, a, it's like how in Mario, Mario stomps on, like, a thousand Goombas, but every Goomba after the first one thinks, I'll be the one to defeat him. It's never gonna happen. But Steve Jobs and other wealthy people who have the same kind of beliefs see thousands of people die from relying on, like, naturopathic remedies, but they think, it'll be different for me because I'm rich. It's not going to be different for you. Uh, okay. Let me play one more game. I failed to get a decent score on the other one. This time these go way the fuck over here. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Oh, well that's not ideal, but in fact no, I can't I can't continue. I can't cancel that either. That's really dog balls, I got to tell you. I don't mean that in a good way either. Well, the background is just a big flat image for the most part, isn't it? Or or depth perception works kind of fucky. I can't tell which. Really simple controls. You only really need one pointer. This would be bitch. Isn't this a Gear VR game too? This would actually make more sense on Gear VR, but it was free, so I was like, why the fuck not? I have to. I guess that I have to fucking do this. I like how it fucking explodes. Like, don't bother dismantling and recycling any of the materials. Just fucking explode. I did it again! Fuck my stupid asshole! Don't actually do that. I'll fight you. Unless that makes it more exciting for you, and then I won't. Unless it makes it more exciting for me, too, then maybe I will. Like, that's how Greco-Roman wrestling started, was like... One dude, like, fighting another dude trying to like, fuck his asshole, and then the other dude was like, You know what? Even though you fucked my asshole, that was kind of fun, the whole struggle part of it. We should make a whole sport out of that. And if you win, you get to fuck my ass. But if I win, then I get to kill you. And thus, wrestling as we know it today was born. I can't. How, how did this generation make, I can't, make their slogan, I can't? Like this... The wimpiest, most pathetic slogan to have, and to think is a trendy thing to say. Congratulations, you're incompetent and incapable. You want a medal? Do you want me to spoon feed you the medal? Because you actually can't eat metallic objects, I don't think. You can try. I'll certainly try to feed them to you as best I can. Did they ever make a human centipede where the centipede was a big loop? Because if they didn't, it feels like a missed opportunity. Like, that's the only logical w direction for the human centipede series to go in. Is to eventually just have an infinite, like, loop of people digesting the same shit over and over. That's kind of what the games industry has become. Like, all the developers are just different links in the, in the chain. In the human centipede, just redigesting each other's shit and turning it into like superficially new properties. Like, look, it's another MOBA with heroes. It's another hero shooter. You love hero shooters, right? You love Quake Champions. You love Overwatch. You love Paladins of the Realm, right? You love Battleborn, right? You love 
the same game over and over, right? You'll give us your money, right? Well, it's so sad and pathetic, I kind of can't resist now. Like, they must need money bad or they wouldn't do such a shameful thing. Give me cars. <coughs> what even are those? Those just look like blue Honda CRVs with guns on them. Is this the is this a fucking Canadian army that would explain it? <coughs> hey, we're coming to fuck you up, eh? Sorry if this is our strong language startled you, buddy. We really just mean to resolve a dispute over resources, eh? That can be done any number of ways. We don't necessarily need to make this a physical conflict, buddy. Oh, they got stuck. Inanimate rocks, my greatest ally. Don't fucking explode. Oh, all my units blew up. God. Why did I do that? Why did I not anticipate that would occur? It's a mystery to everyone. Let me build my turrets. Would you fuck off? The great this is in Canada. Every everybody knows about the great Canadian volcano. That they just straight up throw their old people into so that healthcare doesn't become burdensome and expensive. That's how they do it. They don't have a graying population because once you reach like seventy, they throw your ass into a volcano, wheelchair and all. They actually used to do that in Japan, and they kind of need to bring it back. They used to have uh, killing forests that they would take old people to and just leave them in the forest to, to starve or freeze to death, which is heartbreaking. I can imagine doing that to your grandmother. How How is there ever a society in history that did that? Like, you're too much of a fucking burden on us, grandmother. I hope you like the cold and not eating. Because that's going to be the last experience you have as a living human. And just like that. Exciting! Oh, yes! And in time for the next episode, I'm going to fucking drop $5 on the next set of maps. Because as much as I rail against microtransactions, that shit works on me. I have no scruples that I stick to for longer than five minutes, apparently. Let me just use this electric razor. Oh, that's a close shave. My my cheeks are baby smooth. Um, <coughs> That's all for this time, I guess. I didn't anticipate I'd have to fucking... I didn't think there would be a paywall. I don't know why I didn't think that, considering the game is free. But I will clear that paywall in time for the next episode and there will be a, a fuckload of new maps that I'll be able to play b before I run into the next one of these, hopefully. Hopefully it's not like five bucks for every three maps, otherwise otherwise that's kind of disgusting. I wouldn't put it past them though. This is the age of microtransactions and milking every possible penny out of game buyers, so... I guess we'll see when we see. Until then, uh, stay cozy and remember that violence solves everything. No, shut up, everything.